Do you think it may be related? I don't have a clue. Please tell me what you know. All right. James was more anxious than usual, as I said. It was hard to understand what he was trying to tell me. But it was the head doctor that he was speaking about. He said he knew something important, but he could not tell anyone what it was. Did he say what it was exactly? No. It seemed to me that he was afraid to talk. He kept asking me to put in a word for him with one of the doctors so he could go home. But he insisted that I not mention it to the head doctor. He acted quite desperate, so I promised I would help him. What happened then? Well, James does tend to be very moody, but I would not say that he is dangerous. I have known him for years now, and most of the time he has made very little trouble. So I went to the head doctor to ask him for a temporary leave permit for James. But you said he didn't want Robert to know. I had to promise that. But without the signature of the head doctor, no patient can leave this place. He didn't agree, though, and defended his opinion quite firmly. It seemed rather strange to me. Such rigidity, I mean. Did you speak with James after that? No. I didn't want to further disconcert him. And the next day, he escaped. I cannot tell you anything more. I have no idea why he wanted to go back home so suddenly. You have been quite helpful. Thank you. Why would James want to get away so desperately and suddenly? And why didn't Robert allow him to return to the castle? It seems to me that these things are related somehow. That's all. Thanks. There's no reason to talk. I won't be digging in that trash. It's mostly old papers. It's full of clean water. This is the way to the patient's cells. No one is allowed to go there at night. I can't open it. She would see me. Terrible weather. A sewer. Maybe the main output of the ventilation system of the building. A few beer bottles, old containers and rusty cans. Just rubbish. A syringe. Looks quite clean. A cold bucket. It's empty. A heap of damp coal. It would still burn well in a strong fire. A few bottles of beer. The labels are not very damp. The bottles haven't been out long. Who the hell is that? Nurse! Is that you again? I'm heating the place like I'm supposed to. Not one of those crackpots of yours is freezing. Don't you worry. The boiler is running full blast, so leave me alone. This is Samuel Gordon. Can you open the door? Who? I'd just like to ask you about something. Yeah? What do you want from me? My Uncle Robert runs this institution. Can you let me in? I couldn't care less about who's running this booby hatch. I don't belong to the Doctor Bunch, and I don't have to obey old Gordon. Give me a break, and mind your own business. 
All right, but I just need to find something out. Then I'll be gone. Oh well, okay, what do you want? It seems to be quite hot inside. Are you heating at full power? There's no other way when the weather's like this. I'll sit here the whole day and night in this awful heat. Well, you can turn it down a little, can't you? Impossible. They've just installed this new regulator. It takes care of maintaining the rock temperature for itself. If it could also do the shoveling for me, I'd have one less thing to worry about. So why don't you just leave the door open? Well, that's another problem. I don't want the nurse checking up on me. She comes by to have a peek inside here from time to time to see whether I'm asleep or something. When the door is closed, I can cool myself down with beer whenever I want. I see. Have you seen Dr. Gordon recently? No, I haven't. Arm closed. Nobody ever comes around here anyway, except the head nurse. I last saw him about a month or so ago. Yeah, last month. It was Thursday, I think. No, not after that. But you said you were his nephew, didn't you? Yes, I did. Well, then it's you who should know where he is. What do you know about the runaway patient? There was a lot of confusion about his escape here. Having a clue why they made so much fuss over one silly loony. That loony is a member of my family. He may be disturbed, but he's no fool. Oh, I'm sorry. How could I know that you were related? Now, why I asked. You know this place well, right? Sure. I've worked here for some years now. If you wanted to get outside, how would you do it? Listen, these are some odd questions, you know. Aren't you an inspector or something like that? You think inspections are carried out at midnight? So how does one escape out of a locked cell? Well, I have no idea why you're interested in this. But I don't think there's a simple way out. Maybe from the hall, into the sewers under the building. Other than that, I don't know. If you manage to get that far, the rest wouldn't be a problem. The sewer has several openings that nobody's watching. Why are you asking anyway? I'm just considering all the alternatives. Right. I have to see the cell from the inside. If it's impossible to get out, as everyone says, how could James have escaped without someone having helped him? But who could have helped him? That nurse, maybe. Or Robert himself. Robert's disappearance is surely connected with James somehow. I see you have a decent supply of beer. What if the head nurse saw those bottles? Mm -mm. No big deal. She can see them outside. As long as she doesn't catch me with one in my hands, she has nothing to complain about. I won't be keeping you any longer. Good. I speak with you? Sure. I need a little time here without being watched. Could you possibly do me a favor? I'd like to make a call to the manor to check if anything has changed regarding Robert. If you could show me where the phone is... I'm sorry, I can't let you inside. But I could call myself. Right. Here's the number then. I do not need it. It is in the internal phone book. Wait here. 